trasformando se l'ha rubato Bonzi ecco qua Good evening everyone, thanks for being here. I'm Massimo from Nevin Silicos Group. I'd like to start with a few questions. Do you have more than 20 moles? Have you ever, you or your relatives, have ever had a surgical removal of a mole? Uh, have you ever got sunburned by, uh, in your childhood? Well, if yes, you are at risk of melanoma, so you better listen. Melanoma is one of the most dangerous form of cancer in the world. It is really difficult to spot it because it looks like a normal mole, but it is not because it causes death. So what people do? People uh, go to the physician once or twice per year, but that's not enough because a mole can turn into a melanoma within a few months only. The only real solution to this problem is the early detection of melanoma. There is no chemo, there is no surgical removal, there is, there is only the early detection of melanoma. Navin Silico invented a system that allows people at risk to do their own high-frequency domestic screening, aiming the early detection of melanoma. Our system uh, is composed by an hardware part and a software part. The hardware is a, a universal, cheap, thermoscopic lens. Here I have a prototype, and I can clip it in my Samsung within a few seconds. Okay, now I'm able to shot thermoscopic images. This hardware turns my phone into a digital thermoscope. The uh, software is a, a smartphone, smartphone application called Nevometro that drives the users through the acquisition of the images and automatically uploads them uh, into our website from which the physician can check them and give the, the patient his uh, medical feedback. We don't mean to substitute the physician job. We just want to give him a help, a new tool, a big tool for the, uh, uh, the, the, the process of the early detection of melanoma. Uh, in order to um, estimate some uh, metrics like area, border, color, and evolution, we have developed some state-of-the-art unmatched algorithms. These algorithms allow us to um, implement an alarm ring that warns you if a mole of yours is having a strange, uh, fast evolution, so you can anticipate the visit to your physician. Here are some screenshots from our application and our website. Both have a really smooth and friendly user experience. The application has a body mapping system that allows to save the position of the mouse on your body, so no error can be done. Uh, we estimated our market being 2.7 billion customers, counted uh, the people who own a suitable phone, who are at risk, who are uh, touch savvy and willing to spend, and also the one we uh, can reach with our marketing. Uh, we, are planning to, when we are planning to sell our products uh, uh, worldwide we are, uh, via application store and website. Uh, we want to join a lot of conferences to directly uh, reach the worldwide dermatologist so they can tell about, uh, about Nevis Silico to their patient. That's the real key. Um, we want to sell our products in two ways. A full package at uh, $160, uh, otherwise with a monthly payment of $10 per month. Uh, we don't have a real proper uh, competitor. Well, there are a few apps on the market, but only one of them uh, uses a dermatoscopic lens. As you see, if you don't use a, a lens, the image on the right, the image quality is really poor. It is useless. This only one app has no image analysis, no uh, alarm ring, and it's very expensive, and it is for the medical use, not for the patient use, like our. Uh, our team is composed by three biomedical engineering, uh, one PhD in science formation technology. Uh, yes, I used to have hair a week, a week ago. We have a big support from the unit of uh, the dermatology of Padua, so we think that we have the right skills to do a great job. Uh, even penetrating only a small part of our 2.7 million market, we can still be uh, profitable reaching $32 million within the fifth year. 
Where are we? We have a prototype of the hardware. We have a, an Android application uh, translating into iOS language. We classify second at the StarCap Veneto, now running to the national one. We need a $100,000 seed to engineer the lens and to build a company. Naming Silico will be the uh, new tool for the early detection of melanoma. Thanks for your attention. All right, time, time for questions. Hey, dude, what happened to the, to the bells there? I like it, boom, boom. Turn it back on. All right, five minutes for questions. There you go. Um, can you tell us about the regulatory uh, framework uh, for a device like that? Do you need an authorization to go to market from, let's say, in the United States FDA or in Europe, other entities like that? Also, can you clarify <coughs> the total funding that you envisage to, uh, again, fund the company uh, at full speed? And um, that's enough. Yeah. OK. Uh, thanks for the questions. Uh, this is not a medical device, so we don't need any FDA approbation, any CE approbation. This is uh, advice, uh, uh, a thing that help the, the patient and help the, uh, the physician into the process of early di diagnosis. I'm sorry, I didn't understand the second question. The second question was the funding required. So I guess the, if you have no regulatory, the funding scheme is much less intensive. Yeah, a, a, lot, a lot of money is uh, for the, uh, the hardware part. Uh, we need to, to make a proper hardware, which is universal and uh, which fits on every kind of smartphone. That's uh, where a lot of money goes. Uh, Maurizio Liberani, I'm not clear whether you're Target market is the end user, the patient, or the physicians? Uh, the patients. N number one. Yeah. Uh, which makes it a little bit more difficult in my mind. Number two, do you have any benchmark? What are your uh, false positive, false negative rates? OK. Uh, we are very confident with our algorithms. Uh, they are really our core, uh, the, the core of our idea. Uh, for sure, they, are not, uh, they, they will not uh, always go uh, well. But the thing is that uh, our system works with uh, the patient side and the physician side. Every image is uploaded to our website from which the, the physician can check them and has to give a feedback uh, to, the, to the patient. So even if a mole uh, is turning into melanoma but, and the alarm doesn't ring, the physician can see it on, on the website. Any more questions? Christian. Hi. So what is the level of security since you know like Google tried to do something something similar like using Google Health to store your like you know medical information. So you will have here on your site all the medical information of you know pictures. How do you you know envision to protect in that? Yeah, of course we are managing to protect this a uh, lot of information, but of course, there are only images. They're not uh, so, so private. There is only uh, a name of, uh, of the users. There is no any other important information about the user. Well, maybe, maybe I miss a point, but it seems to me that the original part of your uh, project is, is the algorithm itself that analyzed the data. Did you have a license for that? Did you have protected or you have not any request pending? We're thinking about licensing them. We, have a, we did a lot of uh, publication, uh, scientific publication, but we are thinking about uh, licensing even the, the hardware. All right, we have time for one more. Anybody from, from uh, right there. Okay. Uh. Hi, uh, do you plan uh, to market uh, your tool to the consumers? The key point is uh, get the trust of the dermatologists so they can uh, give their patient a better service. They can tell <coughs> directly their patient about this. That's the real key. 
get the trust of the dermatologist. Thanks for the question. Oh, sorry. And just to follow up, uh, uh, what about licensing or making partnership with uh, uh, self-diagnosis uh, tools, uh, companies? There are some in the world very reputed. Yeah, we're thinking about this. Um, we'd like to start by our own, but we're thinking about this too. So time for one more there. As you know, there is a, a WHO international program in melanoma. It was carried out, started 20 years ago, uh, that quarter in Italy. Uh, do you know what is the resolution of your lenses? Because there is a big problem to find the difference between a navy and an A. And the second, what is at the technical point, what is the, the broadband that you need in your smartphone? For instance, you have a Samsung, but yeah. if uh, for the BlackBerry, you can use for all kinds of smartphones. Yeah, I will ask the second. Uh, we just need a, a smartphone like BlackBerry. We, are, we only have now the Android application, but we are translating to IL system, BlackBerry, and Windows. So we just need a, a, a phone that is able to uh, shot pictures. Uh, all the algorithms are uh, w via website, so there's no um, there's no bound between uh, the, the, the 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 performance of the of the device. And sorry, the first question didn't stay. Yeah, th that could be. Is a suggestion for your project. Yeah, thanks. That could be a really good way to. Uh, make this our product known in, in the world. Thank you. All right, we're out of time, but let's go one quick from the net. Here, here, here. Lady. Can we call you Lady? Thank you. Yes, you can. <laughs> so, a question from uh, Connor Landman How will you incorporate physicians into the diagnosis process? How are they incentivized to provide the diagnosis paid? Uh, we're thinking. Um, th this is a big issue. Um, we think that uh, this product can give the, the physician the opportunity to, to uh, make a better job. So uh, I think this, this will be good to the dermatologists as uh, their own uh, publicity. They, 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 they will I think they, they would like a, a tool like this to give a better service to their to the patients. All right, we're out of time. Thank you. Thank you.